the character of both Jerry Allen and Scott McGee, and they've got uh, Snake Roberts in some trouble out there. Roberts back into the ring once again. Oh, it looks like that young Scott McGee's pretty fired up over the whole situation. This should be very interesting, Gordon. Jake Roberts right now with the side headlock. Scott McGee firing him off. Hip toss. Jake Slow getting up into a arm drag. He's not a bad kid, this Scott McGee. Scott McGee one day might be a top competitor. Right now, he's just probably a little bit excited, and sometimes that gets a person in trouble when they get a little too excited. Like me, for instance. It's a good thing I got a good sense of humor. There's some jerk running around the whole state of Florida trying to put me in some weasel suit. It's a good thing that I'm kind of a friendly guy, and it's a good thing that I have a tremendous amount of confidence in myself as being the greatest athlete that Florida's ever born. Otherwise, I would be pretty upset, Gordon. Yeah, well, Rufus R. Jones will have that opportunity with you tonight over at the Bayfront. And, of course, I noticed Kevin Sullivan staying outside the ring. He is facing... Uh, Dusty Rhodes in a Prince of Darkness match, so uh, tonight should prove to be very, very interesting in just a little while from now. In the meantime, Snake Roberts has Terry, aha, double teaming now on Terry Allen by Kevin Sullivan. Good block by Terry Allen. Using the hair, using the hair to run Kevin Sullivan's head into the turnbuckle. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the things that I have to put up with. Myself, Kevin Sullivan, Jake the Snake, mean nasty Angelo Musca. We have to fight fire with fire. Survival, man. It's survival. Double teaming. Double teaming, man. Everybody's doing it. Hey, it's either them or us. Figure it out. It's like a guy that works in a factory. Who wants the job bad enough? Who's going to load more boxes? I'll tell you who's going to load more boxes onto the freight train. It's the guy that wants the job more. Well, that appears to be Scott McGee and Terry Allen right now. Snake Roberts charging into the ring. He put a stop to that. Terry Allen, who had just competed in a very tough match against the Destroyer, back out there with Scott McGee. Snake Roberts with a full slam on Scott McGee. Terry Allen coming in with both fists doubled up. Jake Roberts backing off into collar and elbow. Terry Allen reverse arm lock. Nice kick, nice knee lift, fantastic maneuver. Completely legal, side of the boot, now back. Tag is made now, Kevin Sullivan moving into the ring against uh, What Terry you're Allen. looking at, Gordon Soley, is two seasoned individuals. Kevin Sullivan, Jake the Snake Roberts have been down the road many, many times. Many times. These two other young punks, which I wish them a lot of luck, but they're young punks in my book, just like Kevin and Jake said, are just fresh pieces of meat, more or less, in the world of professional wrestling. Gasoline is getting no cheaper to buy, Gordon. You know that. Airline tickets are getting no cheaper to purchase. Let's reverse the left time by Terry Allen and Kevin Sullivan caught him with that... Uh, I might point out Sullivan is wearing a pair of cowboy boots. And, uh, brother, uh, that's about the way you'd step into a ring for a bunkhouse match. Just about the way Kevin Sullivan is right now. A pair of jeans, a pair of cowboy boots, and a belt. I think, personally, that Terry Allen and young Scott McGee have very, very bad timing for coming out and making a challenge at the time that they came out. Mr. Garvin, they did not make the challenge. The challenge was made by uh, Kevin Sullivan and Snake Roberts, and uh, Allen and McGee merely answered that challenge. The tag is made once again. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to remind you that is simply an editorial comment made by your host, Gordon Sullivan. And I shall stand behind it, sir. Count of two, and it is Terry Allen coming out before the count of three. Kevin Sullivan issuing more punishment. Allen has his hands full now. Needs to get over and tag up with Scott McGee. Caught a thumb in the throat. Allen tried to make the tag and was pulled away by Kevin Sullivan. Smashed into Snake Roberts' knee. Experience tells, Gordon Soley. Experience tells. You should know. You and I have been sitting under this roof here since I was nine years old together. 
I have been an athlete in this building and in the Bay Area since I was nine years old. I stepped into this sportatorium and had my first match. And no man, whether it be the Bayfront, St. Louis, Saginaw, Michigan, is going to put me in those stinking weasels. Now, here's Scott McGee coming in all fired up. I hope it lasts. I hope he has the energy to take on both of these men, Jake the Snake and Kevin Sullivan, just like he's trying to do. Scott McGee in that perpetual... Uh Motion situation here has Snake Roberts backed up. Roberts tried to move out. Scott McGee caught in the side headlock. Fires him off the ropes. McGee ducks to one side. Roberts in trouble. McGee has what a it. suplex. Beautiful suplex. Nobody can do a suplex like him. I have to give the punk credit. We've got a four-way free-for-all here. Terry Allen hurtled outside the ring. And now uh, Snake Roberts and uh, wait a second. Kevin Sullivan has taken off that cowboy boot. And we've got a bunkhouse going here. We've got a bunkhouse going. That man going. is getting exactly what he deserves, Mr. Sully. That man is getting exactly what he deserves. This is no monkey business. This is no place for babies, man. They came out here and bit off more than they can chew, and that is obvious to the eye. The referee has called for the bell. The referee has called for the bell. Now that's what reality is. That's reality.